Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are going to talk about the T8 Commando running underwear. Now, if you have been watching my vlogs, in my previous vlog I mentioned T8 and it was the running mask that I mentioned because I was trying it out for the first time during my day in the life vlog. If you haven't seen that yet, please do watch it. I'm putting a link in the little corner so that you can see what I'm talking about. So the history of the brand T8 is that it was founded in Hong Kong by two expats who were ultra runners. They absolutely loved long distance running, but they hated that most of the gear on the market was just not tailored to tropical use conditions. So um, tropics are humid and hot and sweaty. And a lot of the stuff out there at the time that they started T8 was it kind of trapped moisture it caused chafing so they founded T8 they did a lot of materials research uh, and they've been using a certain fabric that uh, is breathable and it's very lightweight it's sweat wicking and uh, people have been raving about T8 since then now uh, T8 is distributed in the Philippines by Raceyaya, so you can shop for T8 gear at shop.raceyaya.com. Now I ordered that T8 running mask maybe two weeks ago and the mask arrived last week. But along with my shipment, uh, I also received a T8 Commando running underwear and that's because the proprietor of the T8 supplier, or distributor here in the Philippines, Ray Siaya, is actually a good friend of mine. Her name is Tin Ferreira, and uh, I also sourced my simple hydration bottles from her. We've known each other for a while now, and while our paths diverged, she went into ultra running and I went into triathlon. It's a very small community, and so occasionally she'll send some stuff my way, but I didn't really expect to receive the commando underwear along with my shipment. So thanks Tin for the opportunity to review the commando. I've been reading so much about it from um, the people I follow on Instagram, especially Yael Wenceslao and Patrice Kidai. They both love running in their T8 commando underwear. And so I was just wondering what the, the fuss was about. I know these guys take their running seriously, so the products they use really do need to stand up to the test of a lot of miles. And so if these guys were raving about the T8, then there's really got to be something behind it. So I didn't really look into what the Commando running underwear was supposed to look like before I opened the box. So I was surprised that they were boxers. But then when I looked into what the commando running underwear was really meant for, I saw that um, they were for people who were annoyed that their running shorts always chafed, especially in the inner thighs. And so the boxer shape of the T8 commando is supposed to minimize, if not eliminate, chafing in the inner thighs. It also has no seams on the outside or inside of the thighs, so that means that there's less chance of irritation. Another thing that you will notice when you open the commando is that they do look a little bit commando. And that's because the material is very sheer. Like it looks black, but um, beyond a certain stretch, it starts becoming a little bit more see-through. And for some people it looks flimsy that way, but it's actually uh, quite hardy. I left the T8 on the bed and I dumped some stuff with velcro on it and when I pulled my stuff off the bed I heard this you know the char characteristic sound of velcro pulling on fabric and I was like oh no there's gonna be runs on the T8 and there weren't. It's tougher than it looks. So I put it on and because the material is quite sheer I really could not um, take a good video of myself wearing just the T8 Commandos because if you if you know the, the little viral photo album that's been going around of this cyclist who was trying to 
like I know it's a joke, but it, it's a cyclist who's trying to avoid tan lines. So his cycling kit, especially the bottoms, are quite revealing. And it kind of feels that way when you slide into the T8 Commandos. I don't mind wearing short shorts, but for some reason, I do draw the line at wearing kind of sheer stuff on camera. I'm showing you where the material, the shorts kind of end, um, midway down my leg, down my thigh. There's a nice band on the end which prevents the shorts from riding up. But if you've got meaty thighs like me, then you might notice that there's a bit of banding that goes around the thigh. So the leg doesn't um, have a smooth line. There's a little bit of a kink where the shorts end and then the rest of the leg goes. Now, how do I leave the house wearing this? So you have to wear something over it, right? Obviously. And I thought that the T8 was kind of too long to be worn under my other shorts. So I tried to slide into a pair of leggings or tights. And uh, it, it looks kind of funny underneath those tights because the, the banding, the, the little kink that I mentioned earlier, you can see it through the tights. So it's not a good look. Although it's quite comfortable. Um, I've, I wear those tights with all sorts of underwear. I've never worn it with boxers though. And it was okay, I could move around in it, but I was a little self-conscious about the kink in the leg. So I slid into a pair of um, Kalenji shorts, which I've had for a while. Most of my running shorts have their own little underwear attached inside, which I like. But um, some people, especially the ultra trail runners, don't really like those uh, built-in underpants in shorts because, you know, beyond a certain number of kilometers, they really do start to shave. It's better for them to buy separate running underwear and running shorts. And T8 provides its own running shorts. It's called the Sherpa, which you're meant to wear over the commandos. So I put on a pair of Kalenjis with no internal running underwear in them. And for the most part, they looked okay, although I was really, really still bothered by the sheer look of the commandos. So I walked down the stairs to, to where I usually start my runs in the basement of my building, and I just couldn't stand it. I, I really didn't like the feeling of... It almost looked like I was purposely trying to show off my underwear to my neighbors. And, you know, my neighbors are kind of... They're a conservative bunch. Um, during some point in the quarantine, they really didn't want anybody to run around outside. So I didn't want to scandalize them with um, the sheerness of these shorts. Uh, in that case, I hiked up the T8 Commandos up into my, into my shorts. And they actually felt okay. I didn't feel constricted by hiking them up to about the boy short level right near the the crease between your thigh and your hip and i was able to run five kilometers that way normally you don't really notice or don't get any chafing when you're running these short uh, distances and then you notice the shaping when you start going longer. When I was training for my last marathon and that was back in 2014 I really had an issue with thigh shaping so I went to tights but then when you're wearing tights even if they're three quarters length it's still kind of muggy in them so for that marathon I ended up wearing my triathlon shorts which um, end at my thigh at the level that looks still flattering. It doesn't look like it's cutting my leg off. They're not sheer. Um, and I was able to shove ice cubes under them. So that's kind of where I was with the T8 Commandos. That's the, the length that they are at. But the thing is, because they look sheer, you can't, it just doesn't feel right to me to be wearing them as outerwear or visible. I think that the T8 commandos are they have certain use cases 
Uh, I know that the trail runners absolutely love them, especially the ultra distance trail runners, because they're not swampy. They don't keep the moisture on your skin. They don't chafe at all. They do allow a lot of breathability. So um, especially since the brand T8 is comes out of Hong Kong, it's really meant for tropical conditions. And that's why I think my ultra running friends absolutely love these shorts. And it's because they allow them to run longer. Probably I would cop a pair of my own if they were a bit more opaque. You, you could say that I should have sized up because that was a small. Maybe I could have sized up so it didn't stretch as much, so it didn't become as sheer. But the thing is, the small waistband fits me quite well. So if I had sized up, then it would be loose in the waistband, which would defeat the purpose. I probably will be using the T8s again, but similarly, I will be hiking the legs up if my running shorts are too short to hide them. Now I think, yeah, I think the Kalenjis kind of rode up a lot, which exposed more of the T8 Commando's um, hemline. If I were wearing somewhat longer shorts, then maybe they could have hidden the T8s without me trying to hike up the, the length. Or maybe my legs are just kind of their tree trunks and um, for people with skinnier legs, particularly those people who run long distances quite a lot, if their legs are skinny, then the T8s don't stretch as much to the point of sheerness. So they don't really have as much issue with them as I found. But I will probably be hiking up the T8 commandos so that they're not visible under the shorts, which defeats the purpose of why they're that long anyway, because you're trying to prevent the chafing of the inner thighs. I really loved the lightness of this underwear and if, if it came in a bikini cut, I would probably cop another pair or two for my short distance runs because yeah, you, you really want to keep it breathable under there anyway, no swamp shorts. Okay, so that's it for this review guys. If you do have any experience with the T8 Commando running underwear, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on how I can best use them for the tree trunks that are my thighs, also leave it in the comments box below. If you like this video, if you found this informative, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again next time. Bye!